Hey guys, welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element is going to be gold. Now, in a previous video, we took apart a CPU and got out these uh, gold-plated um, circuit boards here. So you can see all the gold plating, which is in very fine little foil strips. So today we are going to be removing the gold from them. So the first step is to take all of these circuit boards and chop off just the gold plating with the scissors. It's okay if you chop off a bit of the extra stuff, just try to get all the gold plating. Now save the circuit board for later because there's little um, capacitors on them, which you'll see up here called monolithic ceramic capacitors, and in a separate video we will be extracting palladium from them. So don't throw away the circuit boards. Anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead and take this pair of scissors and chop off all of the little gold fingers and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so here's all those teeny little gold fingers, um, and I chopped them up into smallish pieces so that they'll fit in a small container. So we're going to put these in a small container, and we're going to take some hydrochloric acid, which is sold as muriatic acid at um, Home Depot, and then we're going to measure out about half muriatic acid, which is hydrochloric acid, and half hydrogen peroxide. Now this is the 3% which you can buy almost anywhere. Um, I b got mine from Costco. I also have 30% hydrogen peroxide, but we don't need to use any high concentrations. 3% works totally fine. So we're going to add about half hydrochloric acid and half hydrogen peroxide, and we'll put it in a container, and I'll show you that um, in a moment. Okay, so now that those uh, strips with gold-plated foil on them have been stuck into our um, hydrochloric acid with a bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide, we're just going to let this sit for probably about a day, a day and a half, and um, put it somewhere where you commonly walk by because every time you see it just give it a gentle stir to loosen any gold foils and um, basically once you see no more gold foils stuck to the little um, circuit boards um, then you're done so um, I'll meet you back then um, you should actually notice gold foils coming off after about 10 or 15 minutes so it does happen pretty quickly anyhow so I'll be back when once that is done Okay, so it's been just over a day now, and um, yeah, they're mostly dissolved off. If I shake this around a bit, you can see the little gold foils floating in the solution. So, um, of course, we're going to sink to the bottom because gold is a lot heavier than water. Um, so wh what we're going to do is, um, to try to uh, get this off, we're going to let them settle, and then we're going to pour off as much solution as we can, and then we're just going to add this whole thing to a bunch of water. And in that big bucket of water... We'll be able to pick out all the circuit chips, but leave behind the gold foils. I'll be back in a moment once I have all this solution poured off, leaving the gold in, and I have it dumped into a big bucket of water. So just give me a moment. Okay, so as you can see in this bucket, um, there's all our gold foils. So I um, went ahead and diluted the acid in this water, and then removed all of those little teeny circuit boards, and um, any that ended up having gold still on them, I saved them. Because we'll, in a future batch, we'll just reprocess them and um, get the gold off. There was only two which had a few little strips of gold on them. So uh, that's pr a pretty good result. So this is most of the gold from that one CPU that we took apart in a separate video. So, now we have to filter it off to get out all these gold foils. And what I'm thinking on doing is spraying them down to the very center of a coffee filter or something. So we get them right down in there so that they're in a little blob. Then we'll try to make a carbon crucible and melt them down into a teeny bead in my arc furnace. So, we're going to filter this off and I'll be back in a moment. I'm just using a canning jar as the receiving um, thing for our solution. And up at the top is just a coffee filter. See you in a moment. Okay, so I've used a spray bottle and sprayed it down to this teeny pile in the middle of our coffee filter. Um, so, all our solutions below there. Oh, sorry, the strap of the camera was in the way. And, um, anyhow, so we're just going to let this dry. Now, this is pure gold here, and you could just stick it in an ampule or whatever and keep it as your element, but I want to get into a teeny little bead. Now, it looks like a lot more gold than it actually is because it's so thin, because it's gold foil that's been plated on to those circuit boards. So it's super thin. So we're probably just going to get the teeniest little dot of gold out of this, but I still would like to melt it down. Um, anyhow... So, we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to try to make a little carbon crucible to melt it down in. Previously, when I did this, I melted it down in a proper little crucible, but my arc furnace got so hot that the crucible shattered. 
Luckily, the bead of gold was still there. It was really teeny. <laughs> I dropped it in the grass. So I was kind of upset with myself. So this time we're going to try to use a carbon crucible, which hopefully won't shatter everywhere. Anyhow, so I'll be back once this is dried. Okay, so I actually decided not to melt it down. Because if I did melt it down and I lost my gold again, I'd be really upset. Um, because this is my last chance at actually getting a sample of gold. So I simply stuck the foils, and after drying them, I just stuck them in this nice ampule here. So those, um, oops, sorry. Um, that is my sample of gold, and that is how to get it off of old computer parts. So, hope you enjoyed, and, um, maybe in another video I'll show you a separate way of getting gold off of different computer components, because those are just the gold fingers from computers. Anyhow, so it's a fair amount of gold, and hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.